Hello everyone, my name is Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I did take a little break. I've been away for about a month, but I am back and I am ready to share some really exciting sales with you guys. Um, so today I'm going to be covering the month of February um, of 2023. That is the month we're in. Um, and I had such a good sales month. I had so many sales that I just can't cover them all in a video. I wouldn't have enough space on my phone and I would run out of time. So I'm only going to cover my sales that were $30 plus. So um, right now I'm really trying to be cognizant of what I'm picking up. I'm really aiming for that $30 plus end sale. Um, so I thought it'd be best to not share the piddly under $30 sales with you guys and only share those that were over $30. So February sales, the top sales range from $30 all the way up to $300. And I'm not gonna make you guys wait for the end um, I'm going to just get right into it. We're just going to go in order of the sales. So let's get started. Let's see what sold for me for $30 or more in the month of February. Just a reminder, um, I do live in Michigan. Um, our cost of living here is pretty low. I would say relatively compared to other states in the country. My average cost of goods is about $4 on each item. Um, if I remember when I'm going through these sales, if something was like extraordinarily high for my cost of goods or like some great bargain, I will try to remind you guys. Um, but if not, just keep that in mind, about $4 per item. All right, so let's get started. My first sale for the month of February that was over $30 was a Peruvian Connection sweater. It sold on Poshmark for $52. Peruvian Connection is a big bolo, and if you're not familiar with the term bolo, that means be on the lookout brand. All right, another $30 plus sale I had was a pair of Zara pants. These sold on Poshmark for $34. These were just cute. I just had a hunch about them and I was right. They sold for $34. All right, and another Zara item. I sold a Zara dress for $39 on Poshmark. So I guess Zara is doing pretty well on Poshmark these days. All right, and then I sold a pair of AG Adriana Goldschmied jeans. This was the, so I think it's very important with designer jean brands to pick up the right styles because the, each of these um, brands they have under their umbrella they have like a thousand different not maybe not a thousand maybe a hundred different styles to choose from you really want to pick up the ones that are really trending so this particular style of AG jeans was the ex-boyfriend style and they sold on Poshmark for $30 okay this next sale I actually already mentioned in a um, thrift haul video that I did it might be the last one I did but it was a children's Burberry skirt I believe it was a little girl's size 14 if I'm remembering correctly. Um, it sold for $70 on Poshmark that came in as an offer just a couple hours after listing and I gladly took it. I believe I picked the skirt up at a regular Goodwill and I think that all of their kids stuff is $1.99 there. So I only paid $1.99 and made, well, sold for $70. All right, I sold a flawed St. John dress. It was a newer piece. Um, it was missing some of the beading and like the grommets around the neckline. Um, I sold it for $30 on Poshmark. Um, this next sale was also on Poshmark. It was an Athleta dress. It sold for $32. I sold a pair of Vince flats on Poshmark for $30. These were a newer style. Um, I think Vince shoes do a lot better than Vince clothes. Sold a pair of Bally, um, B-A-L-L-Y, big bolo to look for, definitely a higher end designer. Um, I sold a pair of Bally shoes on Mercari for $40. I will say, I've heard other YouTubers talk about how Mercari is kind of the place where they offload like lower price inventory, like American Eagles, J. Cruz, like more like mall brands. I've had, some big success selling higher end designers on Mercari. In fact, one of my highest sales to date, I sold a Chanel sweater on Mercari for like $800, I wanna say. It was huge. Um, and they authenticate for you. So don't ever like poo poo Mercari because they there is a buyer, like a clientele there for more higher end items as well. I sold a pair of Talbot's shoes on eBay for $40. These were so cute. They were like, all things Barbie core, like hot pink heels. 
Um, I sold a Clara Sunwoo blazer on Poshmark for $45. This brand is a major bolo. Um, maybe not so much for their basics. I have a hard time moving those or it takes kind of a longer time to sell them, but a more substantial piece like this moto style blazer is going to get you a nice profit. Another Poshmark sale, $31 for this Rails flannel. I want to say this was a size medium and it was a newer style. Rails doesn't always do the greatest for me, but I feel like if it's bigger than an extra small, you're gonna have a better chance at selling it. Next sale was a Bowden jacket, also on Poshmark. Poshmark is really picking up again. Um, that sold for $31. Love to see it. This was a plus size, very quirky polka dot, like very fun style. And I was happy to see that one sell. I sold a Lily Pulitzer cardigan on Poshmark for $48. I think I talked about this in another video as well. I had two bundles on Poshmark. Um, one was for $60. I don't remember what was in this bundle, but I will magically show it on the screen when I'm editing this. And then right after that, um, this was in mid-February, I had another bundle sale for $44. So once again, Insert sparkly, pretty presentation or music here. Whatever this was for $44, I will show you on the screen. All right, first eBay sale over $30. Lately, eBay has not been um, the place I've been selling things for a lot of money. I've been selling my more like lower price sales there, but I sold a Diane von Furstenberg silk wrap top on eBay for $30. This was an international sale. I had this listed for a lot higher than that. Um, the buyer reached out to me and said, you know, I think they was going to Canada and it's like shipping is so high coming here. Is there any way you can come down? And this top was something I purchased at a 90% off sale at, not Play-Doh's Closet, at Clothes Mentor. Um, so I think I'd only paid a couple dollars for this. So I was glad to to sell it to her for $30. Okay, this was an amazing sale. I sold this coach wallet that I wanted to keep for myself. It was in like new condition. This also sold on eBay for $68. An amazing sale. This is something I paid up for though. And when I say paid up for, I mean it was more than my average $4 cost of goods. I paid $15 for this. Um, it was just at my normal Goodwill. They didn't have it like behind the glass case or anything. It was just like out on the shelf. And I was like, there's no way this is real. Sure enough, it was. It was in like new condition. I'm sure it's something someone had just received as a Christmas gift and they donated and I gladly scooped it up. So I was very happy to sell that for $68. Okay. I don't think I included a thrift haul of this particular haul, but I was at a Goodwill. And if you follow me on Instagram, I know I posted about it there. I found, I don't know what it was, if like, I don't know where this came from. It was a ton of smart wool socks. And if you don't know, I'm sure you do if you're watching this video, smart wool is a huge bolo. Um, and there were um, these square cases, so I'm sure you'll see it on the screen, I'll pop up a picture of three packs of socks. It was like a gift set. And I bought like 10 of those. I think those were marked at $4 a piece. And then they had single pairs of smart wool socks or brand new for $2 a piece. And I took almost all of it. I wish I would have bought every single one that they had because I think I'm down to just one pair left. I couldn't believe, and I kept a pair for myself. I kept a pair for my husband. I was like, we deserve like a little luxury, right? Um, but they sold so well. So the, this was the first set of the big set to sell. Um, it sold for $30 on eBay, and so I was very happy to see that go. I will say, I knew I wasn't gonna offer like um, the smaller sales, but I, I'm looking at my sales here, and like the single pair sold for about $10 a piece, if you're, you're wondering how much just a single pair of smart wool socks, which that's a lot of money for a pair of socks. I will gladly take that. I sold a Title IX, another bolo, I will add on the screen, Title IX, like athletic, athleisure wear dress on Poshmark for $30, exactly. And then I sold a vintage Granny Square Afghan on eBay for $30. This is something I picked up at a garage sale in the summer. Um, 
I think I paid like $2 for it. It was so cute. If it didn't sell, I was going to let my daughter have it and keep it in her room, but be on the lookout for vintage Afghans. They sell really, really well on the secondhand market. I sold a pair of Spanx cargo pants. These were like an olive green cargo pant on Mercari for $60. I was so happy to sell those for that much money because Spanx hasn't been doing that well for me, but the pants have been, and you will see um, a couple days after that, I sold another pair. So I will find that soon. And I readily find these in the thrift store. It pays off to look through the pants and trousers section because it's tedious. Most people don't want to look through it. It's a lot of looking through like black pant after black pant after black pant. But then occasionally you find that gem, like a pair of $3 pants that you can sell for 60. I sold a marine layer button down shirt on Poshmark for $30. I sold a bundle that I actually wrote down what was in it here <laughs> on Poshmark for $120. So in this bundle, I had a pair of Lululemon leggings. These were cropped leggings, which are very hard to sell. So I was happy to see those go. I sold a Lululemon crew neck top, a J Crew vest, a Banana Republic blazer, and a Madewell flannel. So that $120, love a bundle sale. Then I sold a Michael Kors purse on eBay for $30. I believe I did pay up for this. I wanna say I paid like 14 or $15 for this. So I still doubled my money, but not something I would necessarily pay up again for in the future. Then I sold another bundle and this was two um, gift sets of those smart wool socks. So six socks total, two sets of three, um, sold for $50 on Poshmark. I'm telling you, if you see smart wool, even if you see it on clearance, like at a department store, pick it up, it sells and it sells really, really well. I sold a plus size Universal Standard jacket on Poshmark for $49. Universal Standard is one of my favorite, favorite brands to pick up. I think it's usually overlooked by other people in thrift stores. Um, they have really fun sizing, like different sizing, um, very size inclusive. So it was a size large, but their size large is equivalent to a plus size 22 to 24. I think that's why that sold so well and so fast. It was actually missing the belt, which I noted in the listing and it still sold for $49. Sold a J Crew blazer. This was a petite blazer. It sold on eBay for $40. I almost always pick up any J Crew or Banana Republic blazers, especially if they are wool. All right, here was my big sale. See, I told you I was just gonna sprinkle it right in the middle here. So I, story time. <laughs> I found this t-shirt at a local thrift store um, that individually prices each item. It's Value World. If you live in Ohio or Michigan, you might be familiar with it. Um, they're kind of notoriously known for overpricing their items, but I personally, it's my favorite store to go to because I find treasures like this sprinkled in there. It was a Givenchy Disney collab Bambi t-shirt. It sold. Oh, hold on. No, let's, let's hold on a minute. I paid, I paid $3 and 10 cents for this. How, how do things like this end up in a thrift store? I do not know, $3.10. I believe I had it listed for $400. Um, I got an offer for 300 and I would have been stupid to even counter or not take that. I accepted gladly and it went off to Brazil. So I don't know if it's made it there yet. So knock on wood that everyone's happy with this, but it sold for $300 on eBay. I just happened to stumble upon this and it made me think I need to always check the t-shirt section because you never know what treasures are hiding in there. Whew. That's exciting sale, isn't it? <laughs> All right, next I sold, this is still exciting, but it just doesn't, it doesn't even compare. This was a Garnet Hill cashmere scarf. It was brand new with tags. And I immediately knew what it was because I have the same scarf that I received as a gift a few years ago and it's my favorite scarf and I wear it all the time. Um, it sold for $51 on Mercari. I think I paid $3 for this. Great pickup. Right, the next 
over $30 sale I had was a pair of Ariat jeans. Ariat is a like Western style boot company, but I heard their jeans sell well. I listed these and they sold almost immediately. And by immediately, I mean like within minutes, I had an offer on them for $38, which I gladly accepted. I believe I only paid $3 for these. I sold a J. Jill linen dress on Poshmark for $34. I always pick up J. Jill linen anything, and especially if it is in a larger size, and especially if it's a dress. All right, major bolo alert. I found these overalls. They are by the brand Big Bud Press. They make very colorful, very like substantial denim pieces. These overalls sold for $90. So be on the lookout for Big Bud Press and I will try to put a picture of their logo up on the screen because wow, they sell fast. I had multiple offers on multiple platforms and I couldn't believe how much attention these got overnight. All right, here's my other pair of Spanx pants. So these were very similar to the first ones. They weren't necessarily a cargo fit, but they were like a straight leg pant and that olive green and they had cargo pockets on the butt. They sold for $67 on Poshmark. Then I sold this pair of coach shoes on eBay for $40. And in the same day, I had three over $30 sales this day. I sold a pair of carbon 38 leggings on eBay for $50. And it was my first time finding that brand. Then I sold a pair of Jenny Kane pants on eBay for $75. This was my first time finding the brand Jenny Kane and I almost screamed because I never thought in the area that I live in that I would find anything Jenny Kane, but I did and it sold for $75. I believe I paid $2 for those pants. That's what I'm saying about going through the pants and trousers section at the thrift store. You just never know what you're gonna find in there. Yes, you're gonna go through a lot of express limited like JCPenney brands, but it is worth it to find those high tier, amazing, amazing brands. I sold a Lululemon jacket on eBay for $50. It was a size 12 and I know Lululemon is a slow mover for a lot of us, but if it is in a size 10 or up, oh my gosh, always get it no matter what it is because it will sell and it will sell fast. I sold a Lands and Cashmere cardigan on eBay for $32.79. Don't you love it when you receive an offer for like a really random amount? I don't know where they came up with that number, but I gladly accepted it because I think I paid about $5 for that. And that brings us into March and I'm gonna wait to tell you my March sales because I've been missing for a while here, um, but I'm planning to get more consistent and get more into a groove and do weekly thrift hauls and what sold videos for you guys. Let me know in the comments below which you prefer more. Do you prefer a thrift haul or do you prefer a what sold video or do you like both? Let me know. I appreciate you being here. If you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate if you did so. Um, like this video, everything helps. I appreciate you guys being here and I will see you in the next one.